Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today I'm going to be talking about Filipino television and Filipino movies. Because I've recently started taking seriously trying to learn Tagalog. And I thought the best way to do so would be to watch some Filipino TV shows, some movies, and see if I can pick up the language by reading Filipino subtitles. So I've actually just finished watching my first Filipino series. I started about one week ago and I watched every single episode, all 45 in just six days. And each episode was 45 minutes. So I, I learned a bit of Tagalog. I exposed myself to the language for a long, long time. And the name of the show was uh, A Family Affair. I think the main actress involved was uh, Ivana and the main actor was Gerald and Sam Milby, I think. Uh, I thought the show was great. Uh, a lot of people told me not to watch Filipino TV shows because they're super corny and the editing can be very jarring. But to be completely honest, I didn't think the editing or anything was cheesy or dramatic. Maybe it was one of the newer shows that doesn't have the same kind of style used in previous uh, types of shows. But I thought the story was very good. If you haven't watched it, it is on Netflix. And I know a lot of people in the Philippines got Netflix since COVID. And I highly recommend watching it. Uh, after about three or four episodes, I was definitely hooked. I just got stopped by someone who uh, is a fellow vlogger in the city. I'm still here with Short King, but we are talking to him for a few minutes, so I kind of lost my trail of thought with the, with the topic. But I think I was talking about the actor's uh, job that they did on A Family Affair. I didn't know what to expect, like what kind of quality Filipino TV has when it comes to acting or if they're going to be like award-winning performances. But I have to say, uh, Gerald, Sam, James and uh, Ivana specifically, the, the kids or the people, Andrew, the people, the main family, they did a really good job putting on a very emotional performance. Sometimes uh, they're extremely happy in one scene and the next they have to cry their eyes out. And I know uh, from experience that doing these long shoots or doing TV shows, um, that you're shooting every single scene over the course of like a week or two. So you have to jump in and out of character uh, and it, it's all so rapid. And the fact that they're able to get across the development of the characters over that long period of time was uh, very impressive. I think it was a, it's a must watch for someone who's trying to learn Tagalog and wants to expose themselves to Filipino TV. But yeah, guys, I'm just opening up the book on doing on watching Filipino content, movies, TV shows. I'm currently watching a movie called The Dollhouse. Um, it's really good so far. I'm only about 35 minutes in. But if you have any recommendations of any TV shows, even in the last 20 or 30 years, maybe there's some Filipino classics, some old style TV shows that are a must watch that I can learn some Tagalog from. So if you know anything, leave it in the comments. Uh, tell me what it's about and tell me, just no spoilers, tell me if you think I would like it. We are also out here today with Short King. He hasn't watched any Filipino TV shows yet or movies. Maybe next year he'll pick up the language a bit more. But right now he's focusing on his vlog. You got some great shots today. Yes, I did actually. I also noticed that on Philippines TV, they have Pinoy Big Brother, which has a lot of Tagalog, a lot of challenges. It's something you can watch a lot during the day. So I might binge watch that. If you have a favorite person that's from PBB, uh, let me know in the comments who that is. I actually met a guy uh, last year who I made a vlog with uh, on a previous channel. Uh, his name is Marco Gallo. He was on Pinoy Big Brother. He seemed to get a lot of uh, acting roles and TV show slots uh, once he came out of the house. So it seems to be a really good catapult for people's career in the Philippines. Uh, a lot of people who do vlogging now, at some stage were in Pinoy Big Brother. So if you think that's a good way for foreigners to learn Tagalog, let me know if you think I should watch it or not. I also find that the best way to find shows I want to watch or TV shows that are gonna be worth watching is not necessarily to follow the crowd and see what's popular online, but maybe ask some friends or especially you guys Leave some comments about who your favorite actors and actresses are in the Philippines. So far, I think one of my favorite actresses is Ivana. I think she did a really good job in The Family Affair, so I'm going to see if she has more content or more videos to check out because I feel like once you like the actor or the actress and you're used to seeing their face on TV, it makes it more engaging. It's hard for me to jump into new TV shows, especially when I don't know the language. I, I think I only know about 20 to 25 percent uh, Tagalog so far and to really enjoy this series without having to pretty much use a dictionary uh, it makes it much easier if I like the cast if the people are already selling uh, the story through their emotions visually it's going to make it a hell of a lot easier for me to enjoy it just based on uh, their just based on their acting skills so until this video goes live uh, for now I'm just going to trust Netflix because Netflix does give me some suggestions on what to watch uh, there's lots of Filipino content on Netflix as well, which is very nice. 
because I just watched 45 episodes that were 45 minutes long each, it was a very long series, I think I'll binge or watch a bunch of movies now just to, to watch some of the Filipino movies and understand maybe some of the culture. Uh, a lot of people have recommended one or two movies that are must watches. Uh, so I do have to watch this building up. I hope this video gets a lot of views and you guys give me some suggestions. I'd love to have a watch list set up in the next uh, few days. All right, so all that aside for a few minutes, Look at this, this is a wild short king vlogging in the wild. Today he's talking about islands in the Philippines. So interesting. Actually, I just thought of something that I really need to know, especially from you guys in the comments. I want to know what the worst movies and worst TV shows are, because I actually might watch them as well. I think it would be funny to actually see what some of the worst content uh, produced in the Philippines is. So maybe there's some TV show that you guys watched in the past that you thought was very funny, just because it's so bad. Uh, or even a movie that you just really don't like. Maybe I can do a review on it, like a foreigner's opinion on some of the worst movies or TV shows made in the Philippines. That could be some funny content. Uh, so please let me know what your best TV shows and movies are and also the worst TV shows and movies. And maybe I'll do like a, a review video some stage in the future when I know more Tagalog so I can really judge it uh, perfectly. All right, so I just stopped to get a, a glass of Coke Zero because it was super hot walking around the park earlier. So while I'm on the topic of learning Tagalog and practicing watching TV shows and whatnot, I'd love to know what you guys think would be the best way for a foreigner to learn Tagalog. So leave down in the comments if there's a course or someone that you know learned Tagalog by reading books or something. Let me know how they did it. I'd be very curious to know. Maybe I can eventually do a whole video series in your language. It'd be so fun to do a whole Filipino series where I'm trying my best. I know it's not gonna be perfect at first, but it'd be nice to actually try and see if I can speak Filipino. So with that said guys, that's the video of today. It's, good. it's going to be a short vlog. It's just uh, something I want to talk about today. I have a really good video going up tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I will be doing more traveling in the future and I have a guest visiting the Philippines next month. Actually, in less than two weeks, I have a family member joining me in the Philippines. So there's going to be plenty of good content when they arrive. So make sure to subscribe for that and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.